Good morning, everyone. Daniela here. Um, hope you all had a wonderful Halloween. Um, I know I did. I was actually at a bunch of Halloween parties this um, past weekend. Um, I am all partied out, I tell you. I have not partied that hard since I was, you know, a freshman in college. Whew. I can tell you, it took a lot out of me this weekend. <laughs> um, but again, I hope you guys all had a great Halloween. Um, hope you got some good candy. Hope you guys enjoyed yourself, went to some parties yourself, you know, hung out with friends, whatever you guys did. I hope you had a good time. Um, it is November 1st. Um, where did October go? Like, I feel like it just started. Um, so, um, I say goodbye to October and hello November. Um, today's video is just kind of a check-in with everyone, you know, nothing really going on with me here, you know, um, just another day here, um, going back to work at 8, uh, 8, <sighs> what am I, nuts, uh, 3.30, um, uh, nothing really much else, I did some errands today and that was about it, um, however, this past weekend I, um, went to a party, um, called Pride Prom, and yeah. here's the thing is like because of my work schedule it's so hard for me to get involved you know with you know the lgbt um community and you know and everything like that and, I, and that's what i want to be involved in i i'm transgender and i don't feel like i'm 100 percent involved I, I i'm involved because i'm transgender i'm involved because i support the cause and everything but i just don't feel 100 percent in there so um here at my local college, uh, Keene State College, um, they had a pride prom. Uh, I found the page on Facebook and um, I was talking with Sam, shout out to you for um, talking to me and, and letting me come and check it out. Um, it's a really wonderful thing to have. You know, I've always wanted to get something done like that, like have, a, you know, because most people who are transgender who you know, don't come out in high school, they don't get to go to prom as their, you know, true self. They have to go in the, the shadow self of them. Um, and that's what I did. And not to take anything away from my prom. My prom was amazing. Um, it's just, I wish I was me. Like, I was able to be me. Um, so, you know, when I went to Pride Prom, you know, I got there, you know, met Sam, um, I was a little unsure. I went on to the dance floor. I, I felt so, I want to say out of place, but also not out of place. Out of place because I really didn't know anyone there. Um, and it kind of was a bad day because the person I actually know who I was going to go with actually stood me up. Uh, it was hurtful. You know, I you know I almost didn't go. And I, drove, I actually drove to Mass that night before the um, pride prom and I was just like so upset I just I just need to be in the car and drive that's what I did but I came home got ready put on my um, I actually wore a tutu with um, my Adidas sneakers <laughs> uh, and a t-shirt you know I wasn't really anything fancy you know I just went to have a good time and I danced and then I would sit down and then look at my phone you know hoping that my um, person that was going to come with me oh my god this glare is on the screen and it's like uh, so you guys don't want to see it there we go um so um at one point i'm sitting there and this girl and a well a couple of girls and um this one guy come over to me and this girl um grabbed my hand and she's like hey will you come over and dance with us and i was like absolutely you know i felt the fact that she came over and asked me to dance with them was an amazing feeling like I haven't had that kind of you know thing happen to me before I mean I've usually had you know dates where I go and I dance with them I've never been to like a place where I didn't have somebody to go go with so it was like it was really nice and I, I give I gotta give a shout out to her uh, Morgan thank you so much I had a wonderful time with you guys wish I could have stayed longer um, uh, but thank you again so, you know, as I move further into my transition, you know, I'm, you know, as you guys can see through the videos, I'm changing, like, kind of rapidly. Well, not rapidly, but, you know, I'm changing, you know, as we all do. I mean, look at this. My hair is getting longer. You know, my 
I might need another laser hair treatment because I mean it still comes in. Um, I'll probably get another one. It'll be my um, second one, second or third, uh, maybe third. I'm not sure, but um, any hooser. Um, it's moving quite along. Like you know, as like I don't know, as I expected. I there there are things where I was when I first started transitioning. I'm like, okay, I'm expecting this, 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 and this. You know, and then, you know, they didn't happen or they happened slower than I expected or whatever. Like, um, it was funny. I was watching one of the people I follow here on YouTube myself, uh, Maya. Uh, another shout out to you, Maya. Um, and about how she, they were, she was talking about, um, like, the development of, um, like, your breast. Now, you know, for me, I look down every day and I see... I've seen I've seen the change I've seen it I, I see it when I look in the mirror I, I feel it um I wish that there was more and like when I go to my doctor's appointment um next it's one of the things I'm gonna be talking about is like hey this is um the questions I have and whenever you go to your doctor whether it's your PCP or your um, doctor who's helping you transition or your therapist it's always good to have questions don't don't always like have them ask you questions it's good for you to ask them questions too um like you know I get the most common question that I ever always get and I think it's and I, I get the same answer every time like people go oh so do you like you know guys now I'm like no I don't I mean I'm sorry that, that sounds bad to say because I'm pretty sure there are some great guys out there but it's just it's not my bread and butter you know i i like girls um doesn't mean I'll, i won't hang out with a guy and just like you know you know befriend him but nothing more you know like no no i'm sorry no sexual thing being done that's just not me um which some people are like oh that's rare because most people who transition like like the opposite of what they're transitioning into just not my case i i, I am proud to be you know transgender and i'm proud to be a lesbian you know um and and that's all that should matter to you um uh, my friend gail um who is in transition right now like she had a girlfriend um and like she was going from like me male to female um and it's funny because she's not changing her name because like gail can be used as a guy and a girl but it was funny when she went when she first told her girlfriend you know when Gail was still male before he was on estrogen and uh, blockers um, like he told her and she was like uh, I'm okay I, I get that I get that and he's much m more further along than I am but um, um, at this point you know so it was like you know she was you know transitioning and it was you know, people go, well, how, where's the transition line for when you, like, you know, some people really, like, um, get caught up, like, I've done it a few times, I know, on here, where I've called friends or people, you know, they're not correct pronouns, and it's a common mistake, because you're so used to it, like, I am so used to Gail as Gail, um, you know, as a, as a male, um, and I've gotten used now to it, like, I've gotten pretty good, like, oh, Gail, you know, how are you doing? Oh, she's, um, you know, what, I, I, I try to use those female pronouns. Um, and she even said it's hard because she's not changing her name. And that's fine. That's fine. Uh, no one, no one says you had to. Um, but, um, you know, the transition being, you know, male to female, female, um, to male, either way you look at it, it's really complicated. Um, but, I feel like there's sometimes where, you know, society and other people make it complicated, and there are times. And correct me if I'm wrong, but there some of the things that happen with us um, transgender people is we can make it a little difficult for ourselves. Um, you know, I don't like to put anyone in, in an awkward situation where I'm like, you know, oh my god, I feel really out of place. But I don't also don't want to put somebody else in that awkward position. Um, the date that I was supposed to have for the pride prom, um, did I feel really hurt? Yeah, I did because that was important to me, but I understand why she didn't want to come and that's, that, that's perfectly fine. Um, but 
you know, at the same time, like, don't say you're going to do something if you're not. Like, especially, if that's true for everyone. If you're a transgender or just a, you know, regular person and you um, try not to make those promises that you either can't keep or whatever. Because, like, I know a couple of people who are transgender and they, they're still with their um, significant other even as they started transitioning. And some people go, oh, well, it's a curse, you know, because you'll, like, eventually something will change and you guys won't be the same anymore, you won't be the same couple. I don't know if that's necessarily true because, one, I haven't really dated in a long time. But um, I do know, like, um, somebody asked, well, um, well, what happens if I have the surgery and I no longer have a penis and that's what my girlfriend likes? And I'm like, okay, that's a fair question. Fair question. You know, if she loves you, like, this, the way she says she loves you, then she'll stay with you. If she can't accept it, you have to think of yourself. Did you did you do what made you happy, or were you doing what made her happy? You know, vice versa. You know, for if it's you know male to female or female to male. You know, it all depends. Like, I wouldn't like if I started dating someone tomorrow. I would say, hey, you know, I, I'm you know obviously you want to be upfront and honest with them, not too honest though. But, you know, especially not right away. You want to kind of ease it in. But um, I would say, hey, I'm transgender. Right now, I have a penis. I'm going to have surgery someday. Are you okay with that? If you're not okay with it right now or don't think you'll ever be okay with it, don't don't be afraid to tell me because um, cause you won't hurt my feelings. And then we can kind of save each other the, the heartache where... If you say, oh, I'm fine with it, and then something changes, then we both won't be heartbroken when something happens. Sorry, the sun just keeps coming in here. I'm turning this again. But, um, yeah. So, um, I lost my train of thought. Um, I, I might pick it up again. I mean, definitely talk to support groups. You know, talk to the LGBT um, hotline. Um, like I said, you guys can always use me as um, guidance or whatever. I... I don't like to think of myself as an inspiration or someone that you can go to because it's just like, I don't feel like I am. But, you know, I've, I've heard from people that go, oh, you are, you are, that's amazing, you're, you know, you're so great. Um, and I appreciate that, I really do. So, um, thank you for um, liking, commenting, and subscribing, and I will see you guys on the flip side. Have a wonderful day.